Hello, welcome to my channel, Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and I am here to do a tag. And this is the I Used to Do That tag created by Mark over at Book Time with Elpis. And this tag has six prompts. Prompt number one. What did you used to do like have in the following topics that you don't do like have now? Books and reading. When I first started reading, I was very heavily into fantasy novels. Um, these were not the, the new style of fantasy novels. These were the older style of fantasy novels, like Michael Moorcock's Elric Saga. And these were short little uh, novels, about 200 pages each. And I devoured those things down massively. Um, but as I've grown older, I've turned away from fantasy and somewhat turned away from science fiction. Um, I used to read almost exclusively science fiction or fantasy, and I really just don't do that as much nowadays. And uh, it's just taste change over time. Leisure and travel. I have to admit that I am not a big traveler. Um, I like the idea of travel, but I've never really done a lot of it. Um, so um, maybe travel is more in my future than in my past. Social. I've never been a social person. I've always been a introvert and um, stay uh, very close to just a few people and don't do a lot of social activities. Um, the one semi-social activity that I used to do was um, go to live music. Um, I love classical concerts. Um, when I lived uh, closer to Washington, D.C., I could take the metro in or drive in. But now that I live so far down in Fredericksburg, Virginia, it's just too much of a bother to drive up there that far to see live music. Food. I'm not a big foodie. Um, I just eat what I have to. I love spicy Indian food, Thai food. Um, but that's more of a recent development. When I was much younger, I was pretty much a, a burger and fries kind of guy. And while I still eat a few burger and fries, they're just not high on my list anymore. Sports, hobbies, and activities. I've never been a sports playing person, really. Hobbies and activities. When I was in high school, I was a very big uh, role-playing gamer. I loved Dungeons and Dragons and uh, the RuneQuest style of um, role-playing games. And that was my big focus in high school besides reading. And that has just totally stopped um, after I graduated from high school um, and went away from all the players that I used to know. It just was an activity that lost complete interest. It was just kind of fascinating because for a number of years that was my obsession and it just sort of fizzled and disappeared. Work. I'm retired. Well, I'm calling myself retired. I'm really not eligible for any retirement benefits, but I'm over 55 and um, I've just thrown in the work towel because um, I don't necessarily need to work all that much right now. And um, I was a computer programmer and just the demands laid upon me were just so extreme, especially after COVID hit. Before COVID, um, it was, you know, I did my 40 hours, maybe once a month, they'd ask me to work a couple extra hours, you know, usually for a meeting. But once COVID hit, the, the extra hours was like two, three days a week. And instead of asking for like an extra hour, they're asking like three hours and sometimes four hours extra in a day. And um, I decided, I was just, like I said, I threw in the towel on the work thing. So hopefully I don't have to return to work anymore. Toys. There was one great toy of my childhood and that was the Outer Space Men. They were little um, rubber figurines or hard plastic. I'm not quite sure what they're called but there were eight of them corresponding to all the planets except planet Earth. And you had these little alien creatures and they carry little plastic weapons like a mace or a spear or a ray gun. And I will leave a little link below. So if you want to look into the outer space, man, um, you can. And those toys now are just highly collectible. 
They were popular in the 60s when I was a kid. And there was a reassur resurgence in the, the 2000s that they, they tried to reproduce um, copies of these uh, outer space men. Um, but they were kind of neat. Prompt number two. Has doing this tag make you think you want to revisit some or all of your hobbies, activities, etc.? Um, well, I did recently this year read some or listen to the audiobook of um, the Elric Saga, and I enjoyed those more than I thought I would. Um, I had tried rereading them about 10 years ago and wasn't into them at all, but for some reason the audiobook really worked. Um, as for hobbies, no, I don't think I'm ever going to return to gaming or the day job, hopefully. Uh, prompt number three, are there any new hobbies, activities, etc. you would like to try in the future? My wife is pushing me very hard to play pickleball. And pickleball is sort of like a cross between tennis and ping pong. I've taken some lessons. Um, I'm a total klutz. I have no hand-eye coordination whatsoever. Um, and we'll have to see how far that goes. My wife's really into it, so I should be somewhat slightly into it just to support her. But uh, maybe I'll just uh, sit on the sidelines and cheer her on. Prompt number four. Do you read many books related to your current hobbies, interests, sports, etc.? You know, I don't. Um... I stick to nonfiction and um, fiction, but sports books or hobby books is just something that does not interest me at all. Prompt number five. What are some YouTube channels you can recommend for your non-bookish hobbies? You know, I don't really follow that many other non-bookish um, channels. For a while, I think I've mentioned this before, there's a channel called... Uh, Tico and the man, and the man would play the guitar and a parrot would sing. And I followed that for a while, but after a while, it's just the parrot singing the old songs and it run it ran a little repetitive for me, so I don't really watch that anymore. And um, other than that, I don't have any sort of hobbies that I, that are on YouTube. Every now and then YouTube spins up some weird videos. Um, it did spin me up a a brawless TikTok challenge for um, women. I made the misfortune of clicking on that. And um, it's just a woman in a t-shirt, no bra. And now they send me those things all the time. And I'm saying, okay, I saw one and that really was enough. Um, so that's it on my other YouTube channels. Prompt number six, feel free to add or remove any of these topics mentioned and please tag some people. Thanks. So um, I'm going to tag Sandy at Miss Reads A Lot, Elizabeth at Bookins and Books, and Ryan at Book Time with Ryan. Thank you for watching this tag and have a good day. Goodbye.